We will cut your taxes, create millions of jobs, fix your schools, stop the indoctrination of your children, and we will not let them try to change your kids' gender. No, you will not be doing that. We won't be changing your children's gender with their transgender craziness. And we will protect parents' rights, and we will protect school choice. You're going to have school choice here. School choice. And we'll bring back an education system based on merit. Don't forget, our Supreme Court gave us a very great ruling a decision that we're actually allows, allowed to use merit again, merit, so that if somebody works hard, if somebody works hard, they do well. They work so hard and do so well. We actually have a merit-based country again. Can you believe it? Isn't that nice? And we will, of course, keep men out of women's sports, I promise. Last year, the radical left's gender insanity arrived right here in Salem when a man was allowed to transfer onto the Roanoke College women's swim team. And I just met them backstage, the great swimmers. I didn't notice a male on that particular team. I didn't notice a male on that team. Perhaps I don't understand what's happening, but I didn't see any males on that team, believe me. But the brave members of the swim team stood up to the transgender fanatics, something new in our country. And those strong, and I would say beautiful, but I'm not allowed to use that term anymore with women, because if you say beautiful, it means the end of your career in politics. You're not allowed to say a woman's beautiful, so I will not tell you how beautiful they are, but they are beautiful. But those strong, beautiful, intelligent women, they won. They won. And today we're joined by seven of the great members, really championship, incredible swimmers of the Rono College women's swim team that have gotten a little publicity. They've gotten more publicity than I have. What the hell's going on here? Including team captain Lily Mullins, a real champion. Come on up. Come on up, ladies. Lily, everybody. Ooh, sorry. Thank you so much, President Trump. Um, as female athletes especially, we know that men have an inherent advantage over women in sports. And due to current policies, though, men are competing against women of all ages in all sports. <laughs> Joe Biden and Kamala Harris have advocated for, they've advocated for and pushed for this anti-woman sex-based discrimination to continue all over this country. And point blank, it's unfair. <laughs> so I would like to thank you, President Trump, for standing with women and promising to protect the rights of all of us. We are, we are so lucky to have a leader like Donald Trump with common sense <laughs> who knows what a strong woman is and will fight for generations of girls to come. Thank you so much and God bless America. What a good job. Thank you, Lily. How about if we introduce each member of the team? Lily, can we do that? Come on up here. Just say your name and come on up, Lily. You handle it. All right. So I'm Lily Mullins. There you go. I'm Kate Pearson. 
I'm Katie Blankenship. I'm Juliana Morrow. I'm Hallie Short. I'm Susanna Price. And I'm Carter Satterfield. What the hell is going wrong with our country? Can you imagine? And the men don't realize they're tougher and smarter than us. I hate to say it, but they're tough. The men. All right, that's a great job. Good job you did, Lily. Beautiful. Thank you very much, girls. Go win that championship now, please. So we're just three days away from the greatest political victory in the history of this country, probably in the history of the world.